This vehicle is a Frankia I640 SD, under six and a half meters in length and just under 100,000 euros in price. It's got a very interesting rear washroom layout. It's got plenty of space, but it doesn't unfortunately have space for the garage. Indeed, as we come around here, you can see you can get a bike on the back, but you're not uh, going to do much more than that. You've got lockers, of course, around the side of one here, and there's lockers on the other side as well, well, one's the gas, of course. Now, uh, let's have a look inside and uh, see what we can do. But oh, before we go there, though, 645 centimetres length, 230 in width, so it's slightly narrower than many vehicles, and 302 in height. It, this is on a 4.5 tonne basis, which will give, I think it's over one ton of payload quite good on that front let's have a look now up, up here you've got a, a very deep double floor but as we're coming in the motorhome i think we ought to take our shoes off so we can sit up there on this chair on on the right and take our shoes off and stick them down here and look at the depth of that what about 35 maybe 40 centimeters in depth there's plenty of space down there for your shoes and lots of other things as well now coming in on the right we've got this slidey table and look at the rails how far it actually goes it goes all the way down there and if you're driving or you're sitting down here what you could do you could even put the this part of the table down and you can got somewhere here for your, your tea or your coffee or what have you. That's if you want to use your right hand. And if you want to sit in the passenger seat and use your left hand, you can use that thing there. Unfortunately, the bed is above the driver and passenger seats. And as you may have heard, I just hit my head on it. So therefore, you can see it's well under 175 centimetres uh, uh, tall. Or at least I'm 175 centimetres tall. And so the bed is... Is, uh, is below that. There's not enough uh, clearance. That's unfortunately one of the prices we're going to have to pay for having all the other facilities that this van offers. Now it's got this white leather seating which I don't think would do so well in the German market but it would do very well in southern Europe. I personally think it looks absolutely great. Germans are I think noted for feeling for something's white then it's going to get dirty which is a very good point particularly in a van when you sort of uh, you've got the contact with nature which is great and it's what you want when you're in a van but you, uh, contact with nature means things get dirty. Let's have a look at the lighting as well. Lighting under the bed on the side of the chair down there absolutely brilliant in my opinion now i want to mention the engine as well because it's a fiat uh, six speed uh, sorry it's in a fiat semi-automatic uh, setup um, which means that mercedes for example uh, frank also do things with mercedes mercedes put the this, the handbrake is down here on the right hand side on the left hand drive model uh, fortunately fiat's got it on the left hand side so it's it's got it out of the way which means that the step here is quite it's comparatively uh not so bad because then the, there's, there's a step further 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 in this direction when you um have a mercedes of course the step is the price we pay for having the table and i think having a, that slidey table is a pretty good thing to have up there uh glasses and on some on that subject of glasses let's have a look at the kitchen now frank you also do this slidey out thing here which is quite convenient that's for your bottles and your, your olive oil and whatever else there may be in there oh and while that's open i'll show you where the gas is so you control the gas from up there which is a convenient place to do so but that is a ledge and uh, if i were parked i would have maybe a plant up there or a herb because i'm wanting herbs and plants and it's also you've got a plug as well so that could uh, that's for your television so if you want a television in here you can put it somewhere like that that place actually is designed for the television i don't have a television so that's why i put something else there and also at the entrance you can see what's going on inside you've got the truma eye net which i've mentioned many times before is absolutely brilliant now let's come back into the kitchen you've got a fat double fridge with a domestic oven above it 
look at this huge amount of space you've got for food preparation. You've got things on the boil here. Or you're not boiling because actually that's not really good. But you've got things cooking here. You've got all of this. It says there, look at it, it says that. It says there, so much space. You've got huge amounts of space there. You, know, you normally don't see that much space until England play football. It's, it's enormous. Right, what else we got? There's a rubbish bin up here so you can stick your potato peelings or whatever it is you're, you're doing uh, goes in there, which you're not going to be eating. You've got a, a drain board there and you've got the sink here with a domestic plug hole. Let's uh, put it all back. Now, down here we have got sliding drawers and maybe some shallow pots and pans down there. You've got drawers down here as well as all, all very nice. That one could just come a little bit close to the uh, wet room do uh, door, but it doesn't touch it, so it's okay. Right in here, we've got because uh, hanging space. Now, obviously, you've put the shelves where they'll be most useful to you, and uh, we've got the fuse box at the bottom so perhaps you wouldn't leave this one and this one wouldn't be there maybe this one would be there and you put some shelves further down now let's come into the washroom you've got a big shower here it's outstanding isn't it really the lighting in that is in my opinion anyway plug holes on either side slightly profiled so water will go out and there's domestic plug holes once more everybody seems to be putting domestic plug holes in now i've sort of been arguing about this in the past uh, you can't find these nets to put over the, the the ones that were being used the smaller motorhome ones up here we've got this enormous skylight coming around here there's me in the mirror toilet and sink What's behind that? Well, possibly a bike, if you get a bike uh, in uh, on the back. That's the end. It, it looks as though it might go further, but it doesn't. There's standing here in the, uh, the washroom with this huge amount of space. Not that, you've got a bit of space down here as well. What could, what could that be? Well, I bet you've got to guess that one. It's the water. But you also got you see you've got your pipes down there as well, and um, you can actually dump the water should it be necessary. For example, you put it in the winter storage or something like that. While well, you, you you dump it uh, from here. Alternatively, you can just leave the taps running. That's, a, that's another way of doing it. But I think dumping it is probably the best way because you're leaving the taps running. I think more water stays in the system than if you uh, just dump it directly. I might be wrong on that one, by the way, so you don't have to take my word for this. There we have a light switch, bang. Like I said, as you probably know from my items, I don't like over overhead beds, but I think otherwise, you know, you've got so much room in this stand that you can entertain people that should you. I, don't, I know people don't really entertain. Let's sort of go away for a weekend or something like that. And then sometimes they do that. But look at the, amount of the space of this, this uh, lounge, it's enormous. The kitchen is enormous. And uh, it is it is very nice. It wouldn't be for me, just for the reason that I can't put my bicycle anywhere. I must have space for my bicycle. But this is an excellent setup for maybe a couple who don't cycle, traveling alone, who like to uh, eat. Uh, to cook themselves, it's, uh, it's a lovely motorhome.